And welcome back for sports. While this Friday's Southern Air Cool Game of the Week will not be for a district title, it could determine what team not only hosts in the playoffs, but potentially gets a first round bye. The Peabody War Horses will take their 6-2 record and travel down to Tioga to face the 6-2 Indians. As it stands right now, going into the final two weeks of the regular season, both schools would have a first round bye, but a loss this late in the year could be too hard to overcome to get an automatic berth into the regional round. And both teams are well aware of what's at stake this Friday night, but are ready for the challenge. No matter who you are in week nine and 10, somebody's beat up and they could use a little extra R and R with some ice. The other aspect is just, you know, you're, it's a local game. Like it's an in-town football game and all in-town football games are important in a lot of ways. Uh, we're going to try to play ball control on offense, man. You know, uh, you know, slow grinding, you know, run the ball as much as we could. Uh, you know, keeping number one out, out the mix because uh, he's, bro, he's, he's a talented player, bro. Uh, he makes some plays on defense as well. He got a number of uh, pick sixes, so, bro, we gonna, you got to be mindful where he's at on the field at all times. So you just heard Coach Coleman say the key will be to keep the ball away from Jacorian Norris on both sides of the ball. It's pretty good coaching there. Tioga comes in to the game with one of the deepest DB rooms in the state, while Peabody has two dynamic receivers in Ertavian DePass and TJ Hullaby. Last year, Tioga won this matchup 55 to nothing, but Tioga's head coach Kevin Cook said this year's game will be night and day compared to last year. We'll have full live coverage of our cool game of the week starting tomorrow at 6 p.m.